was a fantastic song. I mean, it, it was it was definitely one of the best songs that Layabouts ever performed. Of course, it was written by uh, Mel, one of the drummer, and uh, uh, the lyrics were incredibly fun to sing because they spoke from the heart. They made you feel like you were fighting the authorities, which made it was, made it such a delicious, delicious um, song. And everybody loved it. Whenever you played B-Movie, everybody would just dance their feet off. So I remember one time we played B-Movie when we were in Toronto. I remember the ground was just slick with sweat from people dancing. That was pretty incredible. But this this evening here was like the culmination. 1992, final night where the layabouts really uh, came together and played for, uh, for a final time in this configuration. The Layabouts were not so much a band as as, an, as a community effort, a, a group of people. So so many people came and played with the Layabouts, and, and um, they sort of they all came from the same area. This is the Cass Corridor in Detroit. Um, the, I've, I've lived in a lot of places in the world, and I've never come across anything so unique and so interesting as uh, as this sort of cultural. Uh, political scene and if you could have taken this group of people and started a new world it probably been a lot better world <laughs> but of course that's wishful thinking it's it's really hard to say that the layabouts are dead certainly I'll certainly say that the ideals of the layabouts are very much not dead and uh, I think that there's a new generation coming up and uh, that will be a uh, sort of picking up uh, from where we left off in many ways. Their, their music will sound different, they'll have different things to say, but I think the message will pretty much be the same. Freedom! Don't let me hear that thing. This thing here? I want my life.